Dippy Dinos and welcome back to the Dinosaur Toy Blog channel. Uh, I have a couple of packages to unbox today. Uh, a slightly different setting because we recently moved house. So in the background there are no dinosaurs, there's just lots and lots of boxes of dinosaurs. One day we'll come to unboxing all of those, but for now there's just these two deliveries to look at. So let's begin with this one, the trusty red scissors, uh, and so what have we got? Lots of foam, can you guess? Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's a plesiosaur. It's amazing, but more and more of these figures of plesiosaurs keep getting made. This one is a wind-up toy, look at its red eyes. Oh, and it looks just like the Papo plesiosaur. Uh, definitely that head is, let's be kind, inspired by Papo. So yeah, let's, let's have a look and uh, see what this plesiosaur is like. I think this one you can also put in the bath, put in water. Maybe, whoa, maybe we'll try it. So let's see. Uh, very awkward looking flippers. And it's wind up the belly, let's give it a go. And let's see, let's let it go. Whoa! Okay, that's fast. Uh, okay, we might jump cut to a, a little scene of this thing doing its uh, thing in a, in a pool. Okay, so I'm gonna presume we can put this in water, I guess that's the intention, so we'll give it a good old wine. Now this is not an anatomically correct depiction of how plesiosaurs swim. They don't spin their arms like this. But well, who knows, maybe they did. I doubt it, but let's see. This is a good test. So <laughs> it's just flaming about sunk to the bottom and flailing around. Oh, poor thing. Well, yeah, uh, so now it's full of water. Hopefully it will dry out and won't rust inside if there's metal bits, which it looks like there is. Um, no, not particularly uh, impressive swimmer. Ah, but at least it tried. Okay, let's see, how about backstroke? Maybe that works a bit better. Okay, off you go. Oh, no, it doesn't want to go on its back. I don't know. I don't know, maybe, it, maybe it's just a little bit too shallow. Okay, we're going to give it a second chance. Okay, we've filled the bowl a little bit deeper, looking choppier. All right, let's give it one more go. Its head wobbles a bit, back and forth. I don't know what make or brand these figures are. They're, they don't have any markings on them. And so I guess you'd just classify them as chinosaurs, which is uh, where it came from. Okay. The water, oh look, you can see bubbles coming out. Let's give it a go. Uh. <laughs> mm. Well, I think that we found the reason why this species of plesiosaur is extinct. Now, next. This arrived today, actually, and this is what prompted me to, to do this video. Uh, a gift from Dinosaur Toy Forum member Libra Raptor. I don't know what this is, so I'm very curious. So let's see. I 
I really need a smaller box cutting knife. This one is a bit, a bit beefy. Good for big cardboard boxes, but not little boxes like this. Oh, and we're on the sides. The other side. Okay. Probably in, nearly. Come on. What's going on? Ah, caught here. There we are. Okay, an envelope. Right, it has my address on the back, so I'm going to open it on the front. Very gently. So, what have we got? Something wrapped in tissue and a letter. So let me just scan the letter. Okay, the letter says, Dear Adam, I sent you two interesting figures, one of which is a marine reptile called Geosaurus. I know it, it is a type of crocodile. The other one, not difficult to see, is an iguanodon. The figures came in a margarine packages and were that flat because they had to fit between the lid of the box and the inserted floor made from aluminium or plastic. I'm looking forward to seeing those in your collection. Maybe you can even manage to do a little video for the Dinosaur Toy Blog YouTube channel of them. And we are. I think the figures are of interest for other members and viewers of our channel too. Hope you enjoy them and wish you all the best. Kind regards, Stefan. Well, thank you, Stefan. I think I might recognise these when I see them. Yes, of course. Yeah, the, this, so this is the marine crocodile. And I don't have one of these in my collection, so thank you for thinking of me. Uh, and Stefan explains why they're so flat. Look at it, it's got a beautiful fishy tail. And I do believe there are some other marine reptiles in this series. So I need to keep my eyes peeled on eBay for them. That's the little crocodile. Lots of detail there on the, let's see, on the head. Looks like it's sort of pushing itself up out of the water. Oh, and it's got really big hind legs. So Geosaurus is a metriorhynchoid crocodile, I believe. Crocodilly form. And it is uh, uh, known for being completely adapted for life in the ocean and one of the key features its front limbs its arms are completely reduced whereas its hind legs remain very long so yeah that's very clear even in this little figure and of course it had the long uh, fish-like tail fish-like body and fish-like tail and then the iguanodon appropriately here giving us the thumbs up so thumbs up to Stefan once more for sending on these little figures and yeah maybe we'll have to review them one day on the Dinosaur Toy blog but for now that's all from me and maybe next time we'll get to the biggest Dinosaur Toy unboxing in the world. Yeah.